right, ladies and gentlemen, we are live and thankfully in color. Because it would be really awkward if we were not. Let's see, it's right there. And it is time for Sigma Star Saga once again. Whoop. All right, I figured out what I was doing wrong. Oh, not this asshole again. I don't like you. I don't like you. You're the reason I don't have enough bombs. I don't like you. I don't like you. You and your stupid rings make me unhappy. I don't like you. I don't like you. I wish you'd go away, you annoy me. I don't like you, I don't like you. Why won't you just die? That's my Ring Boss song. Because I don't like the Ring Boss. He's a jerk. He hurts my self-esteem feels. And he hurts my health. Which, you know, that, that that's a slightly different matter, though. Uh, all the shit we gotta do. Right at the start of the stream. We gotta put up with this. Twat muffin. Okay, so we're getting a little uh, family unfriendly, but... You know, again, this is a very unfun to play boss. And I'm dead. <sighs> okay. Let's try this again. Don't want to play him. Want to play against him? Don't make me do it. I love my krill puck. Like seriously, that 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 is one of the things. That that is an interesting weapon in this game. I, I'm just gonna say that we're gonna give a little props to the game. It's a powerful weapon. It's unique looking. Woo! Definitely building my bombs back up. I was cycling through my weapons, playing around. But but yeah, it's it's a unique looking weapon that fits the theme of the game. It's good, nice and strong. All right, so we're gonna go back to is it this. I guess it's the next area. Yeah. Oh oh, <gasps> Gundita! We have Gundita. What is this? Rocket. Slow but powerful. Adds plus three damage to your current power. Hmm. You know what? I'm going to try it out. Why don't you go? Oh, I see, because I was at the very bottom of it, so it was ricocheting off the ground there. Alright, so we want to go left. Alright, so that's that one. Yeah. I know, I check my map a lot, folks, but you know what? Oh, look at the missiles! Okay, yeah, definitely slow, but... <laughs> Don't get eaten by the mouth! But yeah, there's some power here. So... Dang it. And but see the slow is the problem. See if I knew I was going up against like a solo boss, I would probably use these. But with enemies constantly scrolling, I don't feel like that's really gonna be my jam. 
So let's go back to my big, my heavy shot, because that seems to work pretty decent. Ooh, did I scan you earlier? I must have. Alright, let's go just. Alright, so is this the. Okay, should be. Uh, I need, I need a health recharge. Oh my god, a 99 world. This is going to take me a second. Well, I'll definitely get my level up, so. Alright, but if I read my little, uh, my little guide through, I admit, I I'm trying to, when I play the game live here, I'm trying to not, oh yeah, I forgot I had my little shield one too. I I'm trying not to rely on, on the walkthroughs while I play the game. I'm, I'm really trying to figure as much of this out as I can legitimately, but, you know, there's no point, we saw this in the earlier episodes, because I'm on like episode 14 now. That, th there's really no point in, because I kind of figured this out in the earlier episodes, to just spend an entire, you know, one, one and a half episodes running around looking for one tiny little objective. So, yeah, when I kind of couldn't figure out the fossil thing over the course of last episode, I was like, eh, let's go ahead and verify this. Oh, I'm getting touched too much. I get it back in my... Gotta get my playing rhythm here. Um, but yeah, I, I definitely look at it as a, you know, okay, well, I didn't make real, you know, I hit a point where I wasn't making steady. Screw it, I got bombs. And there's my level up, yay! I just have to not lose a bunch of my health over the course of this level and I'll be alright. But yeah, it's, it's just, it's, speaking of... It's just one of those things where it's like, okay, I can do a completely, legitimately blind playthrough and spend a lot of time trying to figure out these little secrets and basically waste time and make this take more episodes than it really needs to take. And, and I mean, clearly I'm not speedrunning this game, because if I was speedrunning it, I would have you know, my, if my intent was to try to set an impressive completion time, I would have definitely been more focused on the idea of, you know, not doing a blind playthrough for most of it, and I would have prototyped playing the game a little bit to understand the basic mechanics of it. Because, yeah, those first, like, what, three episodes, <laughs> two, three episodes there were a little harsh as I was trying to figure the, the the subtleties of the game out, so. Yeah, we're just gonna. So all in all, this is my way of saying yes, I did off-panel between last episode and this episode. Uh, consult a walkthrough to help me figure out what I was overlooking. But that was done more for the efficiency of the episodes. Uh, I'm still obviously um, trying to experience as much of the game as I would if I had picked this up in a store on a random bot lark um, back in the day as I, as I can. Because when I was really young and I was playing games, of course this is like, I think Game Boy Advance, so I would probably have... I would have been about a teenager when this came out, so at that point, um, yeah, I think I, I think I knew about like internet walkthroughs. Nah, I just, I'm not worried about my bomb count right now, cause I'm not close to the boss yet. So, no, I'm just trying to get this level through without losing all the health I just gained back. But yeah, um, but but in general, like you know, you just buy when I bought. Cause my my young gaming career, you know, as I as I've said on previous episodes. The days of Nintendo Power, maybe an EGM type thing. Ah, that was the wrong time to use a bomb. That was just a waste. But, you know, the, the, the information we had was very limited. So, okay. My counters, that should be good. 
So the idea of having to figure this stuff out the hard way was was part of the gaming experience for me. Should be There we go. Okay. Did I get zapped into Or is this the Okay, this is what they were talking about. Cuz see again, I used a text walkthrough. I didn't use a video. Um that's what they were talking about. Apparently when you... Ha ha, I got behind you. Apparently whenever you find a fossil, you have to go through like this pseudo sub-boss fighting stage thing. So, yeah, it's, it's this is going to be a little quirky. I got a fossil. If I had all seven, I could complete the skeleton. Alright, so... Alright, we're going to do a little... Manipulation of the fact this is emulator based playthrough and Ooh. and do a little save state. But you know, we've been doing that more than once here, so you know, I don't feel bad about it because, as I said, this is I'm doing this for the sake of audience mercy and sympathy there were a few points in this game as i said earlier episodes i know i wasn't relying on the save states as much and we had a lot of redundant parts of course and there was that episode a couple back where i for some reason my saves didn't save at all and i ended up having to redo a whole section of the game because my built-in game saves didn't work and my emulator save states didn't kick in that was incredibly awkward and yes I have itchy clicker fingers so sometimes I double click when I only need to single click okay there's number two so yeah I think the walkthrough said all seven of them are in this one big square area so we're just gonna do a big sweep and have at it have fun ah see now he's got the mouthy mouth with him See, this, this section right here, those missiles I got... Whoa! You just turned around and came at me, bro. That's not cool. Um, like, this section right here, the... Uh, you're just a jaw. Um, like, this would not be a bad time to have those high attack but real slow hitting missiles. Um, like, this is this, this is a kind of stage where that gun data would, would be useful. All right. Ah, uh, stupid enemy respawn. There it goes. Da, 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 da. So yeah, we're just gonna have to do a. Uh, which boss are you? Okay, yeah, you're not bad at all. You are my buddy. You are. Not that bad at all. Oh, I can't really play stupid either. Because you are a big bad boss. So at least the fossils give out pretty good, decent experience when you beat them too. So That should help me get another quick level up. I don't know what the recommended levels for, for any of these bosses or whatever is. Yeah, that's right. He can shoot down, too. Okay. Well, never mind. Um, so, I don't know if I'm even... I mean, I know when I did the last planet, I grinded, multi, like, five, six levels. And I probably didn't need to grind that many, because that boss was, like, a lot easier that go through. Um, yeah, we're just going to do a... Nicely redundant sweet pattern, because we got five more fossils to find, and nothing's worked. And that was where we had problems with the dirt on the ice planet, was because all right, there's just a lot of guys on the screen right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and use a bomb just to 
cut some time down there because that was a thing. Gonna take you back. To uh, I keep singing other people's songs. But yeah, um, so yeah, I, I will admit as I, as this playthrough is going on, uh, I am, if I feel like I am just not putting two and two together, yes, I will do an off camera. Hopefully, off camera because I'm, I, I'm sure it was like the exact opposite of interest. Okay, I'm still on the square. I'm sure it was the exact opposite of interesting when I did it on camera in a couple early eps. Um, but yeah, I, it's it, it's just, it's a really, like, God, I need to find some statues to grind some bombs again. I know, I used my last bomb right after saying I need to grind some bombs, but, oh my God, like, I'm just... I would just really don't want to not get all seven fossils in this episode, but I also don't want this episode to be like two and a half hours long either. I don't know, so it's it's just kind of one of those situations where you have to think it through and figure out like, okay, what, where does the balance lie between? doing these fights as quickly as possible and um and not setting yourself up to be in trouble actually wait let me think about that was it this would be a good time to use my do duo counter. So some of these battles will take a little less time. Wait, is this still the? Yeah, this is still the big. Yeah, this is a big area. I can totally see how there's seven fossils hiding out in here. All right, let's try this duo counter now. So in theory, when I kill something, I think it's that it counts for two. I actually have to kill something first, so. Which means I don't have to kill quite as much stuff. Ah. Yep, haha, <laughs> there he is. Killed one thing, it was 32. So, Alright. So that means that I only have to kill 16 more things instead of 32 more things. Is my shot weaker now? Okay, yeah, I think whatever... Okay, I think switching off my, like, shield thing actually made my shot a little weaker, which is... I didn't think the shield was helping add power to it, but... Oh, hey, level up, sweet. Um, I wasn't even paying attention to my level up counter at that point. Because um, these things used to die in two hits, and now they're taking, like... One, two, one, two... Oh, I don't know, maybe I just wasn't hitting... Firing as rapidly or something. I don't know, that, that just threw me for a second. It was... I was overanalyzing what I was seeing, or... I was just being weird. I was just being a dork. God. Come on, at least give me an item. You know, Alright, see, this is the very start of the area. So, uh, okay. Hopefully this will be easy. Yep, easy boss. Come on, let's just let's make this happen, Captain. Captain Kangaroo, Captain Crunch, Captain Nemo, Captain America. All like eight of you. Is there eight? Oh my God, I'm actually gonna do the list in my head real quick. I think. Uh, there was. I was Steve, the two World War II retcon imposters. There was John Walker, who later became U.S. agent. There was the 
Cold War guy who later resurfaced as a villain called the Grand Director. That's what, one, two, that was like five we just named. And Bucky had the suit. That was six. Oh my god, is that, like, I'm actually not doing well against this guy. I, I know that can't just be the counter. That's, what the? Come on. Huh. Maybe whatever I switched off was hurting my damage output. That doesn't make me happy. Come on, open your eye again. There we go. Zap, zap. Man, yeah, this guy's definitely taking more hits. This does not make me happy. I don't know. That, that double damage thing may not be worth it if it's hurting my damage output. Because I even got to level up, so... I don't know. I think I'm going to switch off that, that double damage thing. Yeah, there's been like seven or eight Captain Americas. That's really weird. Alright. Oh, yeah, I remember playing around with it. Oh. Okay, barrier is what I had before. See, I also like smolder a little bit. Uh, boulder's what I had, and I liked that, so. Or barrier, not boulder, so. So there's like no fossils up there. That's annoying. Seriously, though, I need to find a statue or something. This is not. Conclude. This is not proceeding well. That boss actually took health from me, which is not. Oh, that's right. I forgot. I got a save point right there, so. Oh, God. Now I got to do him again. Well, hopefully with the switching off that duo counter and putting my barrier thing back. Although, I don't really see how it does anything. Well, there it went. Oh, my God. Please don't tell me I'm going to die to this guy. I was kicking his butt last episode. just gotta survive you by just a fraction and I can get my save point and regen my health. Yes! Okay. That's good. See, that definitely felt like that went a little easier. And didn't take quite as long, so... Alright. Alright, let's do my save point. I should refill my health. Whoop! Plus, since I've had the two fossils, it wouldn't hurt to do that either. Yay! Bomb. Come on! There's supposed to be like seven fossils in this area? They're nowhere close. Okay, like, I know I said I prefer you to the other guy, but I don't need to fight you like three times in a row. die now. Welcome to die! Woo! Stay clear. Alright. Okay. Got to be some fossils somewhere around here. Like, oh my god, 99. Uh, this is going to take a while. Uh, he's 
would always take a few minutes. Yeah. Yeah, see, look, these are dying in one, and I definitely was hitting or two, but yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I think that duo counter puts out a weaker damage output or something, because... Ah, that's weird. Yeah, either way, this is probably as if... I mean, all things considered, this is actually proceeding in a pretty decent clip. I'm already down to 67, so we'll just... We'll just stick with this gun data layout. The, the missiles were interesting, but as I said, really... Like, if I could find something like a turbo fire on a different gun data to kind of balance it out, oh yeah, I would totally switch to something with a high output if the slow shot thing was decreased. So... Then the game would be broken if you had a super high thing whose one weakness could be counteracted by another gun data. Oh my god, just game breaking. Well, considering this game's very puzzle heavy, I don't care if I'm breaking the game. Yeah. It's, it's just really weird. I get very strongly opinionated about games. Especially something like this where I'm enjoying the game generally so it's like the the few flaws i do find or even if it's not a flaw just stuff that i don't personally find super awesome just stand out so much more like if this was a if this was just a bad game then it's like oh yeah you wouldn't care if like oh they don't have a combination that totally breaks the game because i don't want to play the game anyway so what do i care there's like some super secret configuration that makes battles and super easy and no enemy on screen can touch you because they all die in one shot and you fire super rapidly. Like, you know, you don't care about that if the game's not worth playing to begin with. I always find that funny though and it's like, People brag about like, oh, this game is like 80 hours of playthrough and so many different modes and so many different characters. And you're like, yeah, but it's not fun to play. That's that, that's one of those things that I, I get really like twitchy about in, in, um, in modern fighting games. Where it's like they brag so much about the size of the roster, but then you're like... There's no fossil even over here? God, what the? Like, there's supposed to be a foss... Okay, wait, there's one right. Wasn't that one right there? God, stupid battle. Oh, please be a short one. Oh, it's the, it is the fossil battle. Yeah, because there's no counter. Okay. Yeah, see, now he's got arms. Okay, so that is the fossil. So that's fine, then. We're making progress. Whew, I was about to get annoyed. I was like, oh my god. And I was like, oh, I hit it. I triggered the boss part without realizing I was triggering the boss part because I barely saw the fossil. Hit box! Don't come after me! Oh, <laughs> yeah, because I blew the mouth off first. Uh. That, that, that is, I mean, this whole sequence, I, I re as I said, I read it in a text-based walkthrough. There were no screenshots. It was pure text. So they were like, oh yeah, every time you find a fossil, it's the boss has more pieces you have to kill. Yay! Alright. There we go. Um, but it's like, until you see it in action, I just, I really didn't comprehend. Like, I'll, I'll be honest, it's really cool. Like, I like that feature. Ooh, help. Yes. Yes, please. Um, like, I didn't I didn't really understand how that feature would work reading the text walkthrough. 
So it's like now that I just played it, I'm like, yeah, that's actually really, really cool and fun. I'm like that 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 was a good way to handle this little fossil hunt thing, where every time you have a fossil, you get sucked into a little boss battle, or a little sub boss, I should say. It's the boss is the end planet thing, but it's like, oh yeah, you get into a sub boss battle, and the more fossils you find, the more in depth the boss battle is but instead of just the guy having more hit points it's it's like very Frankenstein-ish it's oh yeah each piece is you know blows up and is killed separately so it, it's just it's it, it, it kind of seems an obvious way to do it to long-time gamers. We were like, oh yeah, if you're doing a boss and you're assembling it in sequence, of course it would blow up in sequence and get more sequences as you fight it. Oh, there's another one. Sweet. Alright, so this will put us just over half. Four out, of, four out of seven. Let's see what it looks like now. But yeah, it's one of those things where I'm like, yeah, long-time jaded gamers are going to be, oh, well, yeah, that's super obvious way to do it. How else would you do it, moron? But it's like, you know what? I've played a lot of video games from a lot of different companies on a lot of consoles and PC systems, we'll say, because you can count PC as a system. And this is actually not common. This is something really quirky. I'm not going to say unique, because if I say unique, if I declare this is the only game that's ever done something like this, somebody's going to pull up some game that I haven't personally played, and going to show off, eh, look at his little spine blowing up, going to show it off and be like, it's not unique, it was in this game, and this game came out first. Don't get me wrong, I use that nonsense to poke fun at hardcore Pokemon players. Because the original uh, edition of Dragon Quest IV, uh, the Monster Master class could recruit... Oh, there we go. There's number five. All right, now we're getting to a section where there's a lot of fossils. Sweet. We're making up time here. Um, but yeah, Dragon Quest IV, which came out a couple, uh, a few years before Pokemon, not by much. So it was probably somewhere Pokemon was in development so I'm not going to say the one idea directly influenced the other but you know just saying the, the there, there was a optional class in Dragon Quest 4 that where there was a possibility if you killed monsters in battle that they could join you and they change that in the DS port which is the one I own. I've played the original uh, Super Nintendo version as a fan translated uh, ROM because it was never officially released in America which is why I got the DS port and I found out that they had changed that class so instead of you could rec potentially recruit most of the standard battle monsters when you had that clash in your party to there was a handful of recruitable monsters yay only two more to go uh, that were storyline recruitable which on the one hand is kind of nice because it introduces that feature of having the monsters fight for you without you being obligated to have a monster master in your class but it does limit the fun of playing with the Monster Master as well. So it's it's one of those... I don't... Wait, not 4. Not 4, I misspoke. Dragon Quest 6. Because 4 did come out in America. That was the uh, last one on the NES. Now 4 also had a DS remake, which I own. Because I never owned uh, 4 on the NES. I had played it originally on NES, but... Um, I didn't own it, so when the DS one came out, I thought, hey, this is my chance to own Dragon Quest IV on a system that I have that's currently functional. It, it was a thing. 
But no, excuse me, it was Dragon Quest VI, not IV, that I was talking about with the Monster Master class. Because four did not have separate classes. Three had the classes. Six had the classes. Nine has the classes. Seven and... I think seven and eight do. I only played seven and eight the one time. So... I'll be honest, they were not my favorite Dragon Quest games. Um... And I am going to kind of go on a tangent here and, and upset some gamers, but a uh, big reason I did not... I mean, I, I enjoyed 7 and 8, but they are... And, you know, I own them, so I'm sure I'll play them again one day, but they are not one of my favorite Dragon Quest games, and a lot of that was because... I feel like the 3D playthrough, which they also used in Dragon Quest Monsters Joker 1 and 2, which are Dragon Quest spin-off games, that that 3D-esque style playthrough, because they were uh, PlayStation games that have had uh, Nintendo 3DS ports, but so that um, as opposed to the majority of the Dragon Quest games, which are done in like a old school retro 2D style, which makes sense because it's a very retro franchise to start on the 8-bit Nintendo. Um, but yeah, I just I feel like that 3D perspective with the the shifting camera angles and all that just, in my humble opinion, and it is just my opinion. If you do not agree with me, that's fine. You don't have to hate me. I do not have an issue with you if you disagree with me on this, but in the case of Dragon Quest, that that um, style of playing and uh, visual visuals did not work. I feel like the, the, the feel of a Dragon Quest game, which is to me is important because it's one of the reasons I love the franchise is even when the storylines are not connected really to any of the other games the games all have a very similar feel to them a theme in the storytelling you know there's no Dragon Quest at least main series games where it's like post-apocalyptic steampunk stuff um they, they, they all occupy very similar worlds which is one of the things i love about the franchise i don't know i probably shouldn't be talking too much so much about it while I'm playing this because dragon quest is not from the same company at all but you know i don't want to oh there's another one sweet um but i mean there's I, I've done vlogs, you know, my Friday ramblings that you can see on the YouTube channel that uh, my archives are on, which are always good. And, you know, for those of you who are watching this on the uh, live stream channels, I have a few of them on there, um, Twitch and... Was it Periscope? And God, I feel bad. I don't even. I, I am totally blanking on the names of my streams. But if you are watching this on a channel that is not the iconic, everybody knows it, including your grandfather that doesn't even know what the internet is. YouTube. Um, you can find the archives for the previous episodes of Sigma Star Saga, as well as all the other games I've played since I started streaming games. As well as my Friday rambling vlogs that sometimes are about video games, but sometimes aren't. Which included some talk about WayForward as a company, and some of its games that they have made. Especially, uh, I did a video focusing on the remake games. They have, oh look at your little tiny piece of skeleton. Come over here, I gotta blast you. It's nothing personal, but to end this level I gotta get you. There you go. Um, 
But focusing on some of the remake games they made, like DuckTales Remastered, uh, Boy and His Blob for the Wii, which is a very good adaptation of the original Boy and His Blob for the NES, which I have played. Uh, I've played both versions. Uh, I've beaten the Wii version, did not beat the NES version, because I only rented the NES version, whereas I bought the Wii version. Yay, one more to go. All right, let's find it. Um... So, you know, it's a thing. Right. Eh, could have used a bomb, but hey, at least they gave me something that time. Ah, oh, God, another 99 stage. Okay. Well, the good news is, as I keep wandering into level up, so I'm not getting weaker, so... Deep, 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 deep. Dodge the arches, dodge the arches. Eh, I might use a bomb later on if I get a bunch of enemies on the screen. Right, right now, just three that way. Yeah, there we go. That knocked out a good chunk. Um, but yeah, no, what I was saying was I got off track. That, yeah, no, I kind of went on a tangent about a game series that is not from this company. And is not connected to this game, and that's, you know, yeah, I should probably put over a way forward, but... As I said, I've done video. Um, yeah, the YouTube channel is called Roulette Productions. I got some nice playlists on there, so it's easy to locate. You know, filter out the vlogs if you just want to look at the game streams. Certainly, yes, by all means, if this is your first time watching me play Sigma Star Saga, we are, as I said, like. 14 episodes into it, so by all means, go check out the archives to see my other episodes of this. I did some, a couple one-offs for some other WayForward games that are forgotten gems, because I do enjoy WayForward as a company, but they're, you know, they're a handful of remakes in the last decade or so. Um, as I said, there were DuckTales, Boy and His Blob were both very well received. As well as the ongoing Shantae series. Which I am in the process of working my way through. I've just started Risky's Revenge. Which is the second out of what, five games? So, uh, I've already got uh the third game, Pirate's Curse, purchased. Uh, I have purchased all three of those game or all three of those games, and if I continue to enjoy them as much, you know, as I enjoyed the first one, and so far, Risky's Revenge, I will purchase games four and five uh, in their own good time. Um, I have one and three on my. Uh, 3DS through the uh, Nintendo eShop Virtual Console service. Um, two is actually on my Wii U. Uh, I forget why. I think I just I think like they were having a sale on the Wii U version, so I just went ahead and grabbed it there at one point. I forget why I got that one, or maybe my DS was running out of memory at the time. Alright. So. Either way, the point is, um, I do not have them on my PC, which is how I record my streams. Sadly, I do not have uh, capture cards for my consoles. So, none of my playthroughs are on a uh, console. Which is, you know, probably a thing because I would have to get a capture card for a 3DS because that's where my retro games are on. I have a, I have a few like uh, a couple on my uh, Wii U, like some. Uh, I think I have like a couple Super Nintendo era ones, uh, a couple N64 ones. 
See, the N64 I don't really consider retro. I, I discussed this early on in the game, uh, on an early stream of games. But for people that have not watched that particular episode of that particular game yet, and I can't source you exactly which one it is right now, um, I just, I know I've discussed this. I try to, on this channel, focus on, um, God, where's that last fossil? Okay, I don't remember doing the hump, so this is a new area. Um, I try, and another 99. Ugh. Uh, at least it's good for experience. Just keep telling myself that. Maybe I won't have to boss grind as hard like I have in the other other planets when I got to the big boss of those. But, um, but yeah, I, I try to focus on um, games that are from the NES, Super NES era. Which is bad. I mean, that's not fair to other companies and their consoles. I have nothing against the Sega Genesis or the Master System or, you know, the early Atari games. I mean, heck, honestly, I... I would definitely not be opposed to digging out some, like, doing, like, a pitfall playthrough if I could actually manage to not die within like two minutes playing Pitfall. I mean, that would be a really awkward <laughs> thing to play for an hour. I guess I could like mix it up with some other Atari games. You know, dig out like Miss Pac-Man, some Pong. Do like a, I don't know, they're like a one-player computer Pong. I, I, I could probably do like a old-school Atari night some of the missile command but uh but yeah i try to focus on the the those two generations of gaming because those were the ones from when i was a kid and those are the games that woo level up um i just i feel like that's something that people you know, it's it's easy. A lot of these games were short. Like, I've done... I mean, I've done games where... Partly through cheat coding. <laughs> because I am not super skilled. But in order to show you the full game. Which was the intent. And I've always... Again, for people that's your first time watching this channel. Watching one of my games. I'm not using cheat codes to play this game. I'm playing this game as legit as I can, which is why I was mumbling earlier about my policy and using walkthroughs on this game. But I am not... Ooh, big arches, big arches, scary arches. But I'm not using cheat codes on this game. If I do use cheat codes on a given game, I will make it very clear at the beginning of the episode... I do not try to deceive people as to my skill level, but I have done that for a couple games, and because I wanted to show the full game off, and but the idea is that those were games that I could I could beat in an hour. You know, I could show the whole game off in a single episode. Or a handful of episodes. Like, I think I did Ninja Turtles 3, uh, The Manhattan Project, in two episodes. Which reminds me, I, that, that that's to total, like, spoilers for you folks. Um, ah, there it is, there it is. Ha ha ha, yes. Yes, ha ha. Alright, we've totally gotten all seven in a single episode. Perfect. Didn't even have to go long and... Because... Woo! Look at you! You got a tail now! You are an ugly looking critter, but we are going to wipe you out. And I'm not going to fail against you either. Because you're not that difficult. Like, you slowly but surely chase me, but... All I got to do is be on the ball watching your approach. Do, 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 do. Look at that. You got pieces falling off all over the place. See, once you get rid of that big skull, it's a lot easier to get back around the other side. 
But that's also why it's good to have multi-directional shots and why I keep it equipped. Because I can duck dodge around and any, you know, when I'm going over them, I can shoot down. When I'm in front of them, I can shoot behind. It's just a very convenient weapon and I don't have to sit there and consciously think about directing my shot, which some of the other guns have that option, but, you know, it allows me to focus on the guy not hitting me and taking huge chunks of health because I'm not the greatest shmup player in the world. But yeah, so what I was saying earlier was I, I do try to focus on these older games because outside of RPGs like this, and, and the funny thing is this is not the only RPG I've played. Um, I got part way through, uh, I got about two thirds of the way through Evo Search for Eden and just hit a wall with one of the bosses. And I started Robotrek and got into a really grind-heavy spot. And I do intend to go back to Robotrek especially. Um, yay! Okay. So, since we're done looking for fossils... Let's see. Alright, let's just head back to the ship. That seems like a good place to head. But yeah, um, what, I, what I was saying, what I was building up to is I try to play games from just a couple generations because, uh 99 stage. Always with the 99 stages. Got to get to a good stopping point. But yeah, I... I Again, this is redundant for people that have watched me all the time or marathoning my archives. And, you know, I'll go ahead and apologize for redundancy to those. But since I am going ahead and repeating a lot of policy stuff for the new fans, I try to make these episodes around about an hour because I figure that is just about the amount of time that people... You know, especially watching on Archive. Like, that's a good length for a video. Um, which is part of why these, there's... I think we figured last week that at the rate I'm progressing, I'm estimating, like, 25-odd episodes to finish this. Because this is, like, Planet 4, and there's, I think, six planets. So, we, we're apparently over the halfway point. So, I, I'm estimating between 25 and 30 episodes. Which is way more when, then, when we started this than I thought I would do. That, that's the other big confes confession for first-timers here that are starting with this video. Is that uh, I did not think I would enjoy this game as much as I did. Uh, I was just going to play a couple way, you know, a few way forward games... Because Way Forward's having their 30th anniversary this year. And they're doing a lot of anniversary stuff on social media. And they've had sales on their older games on various platforms. And mass props to Way Forward for 30 years. You know, that's... There, there are game publishers that have not lasted 30 years. And Way Forward has. But yeah, I've played some less iconic way forward games and I was like oh yeah I'll play this I'll probably you know it'll be another app or a couple apps and I really struggled in the first app because and again this is the thing I will say god I'm down to 14 already like man I got into a zone there and just started killing stuff I wasn't even looking at the counter I was talking but and I got another level up yeah, so what I was saying is, yeah, way forward, 30 years. Um, I was just like, well, yeah, this is like a weird shoot 'em up exploring game, RPG elements. I was like, yeah, I'll, I said, it sounds kind of really like one of these weird hybrid games. I'll, you know, Game Boy Advance, it was experimental for the company. They didn't make any sequels. Um... 
So it's probably not going to be the best game, you know, probably not going to be all, you know, a, a huge thing. I'll get an episode, maybe two out of it. Um, and here we are on episode 14 because, whoo, it, the game, you know, after I got through that intro level prologue thing, which was, oh, this is not a good boss to have a big ship on. Come on, open your weak hole, you jerk. Come on, that's not even funny, man. Keeping this thing closed way too long. Don't make me bomb you. But, uh, but yeah, what I was saying was... Um, yeah, th th this is so far the longest game I have played on the channel. And by the time it ends, it will definitely be the longest. Oh, God, you're killing me! Why are you not opening your slot? Like, you are legitimately ticking me off here. This is not... Oh, what the God, I'm not... I don't want... Oh, I cannot lose to you. Oh my god, I can't... No, 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 I haven't saved it in several fossils. No, do not do this to me. Do not... No, I don't freaking care. I'll burn every bomb I have keeping the blasters away. Oh my god, I need... Open your eye! Oh my god, I'm not gonna die on this prick! Ah! Oh my... No! No! Oh! Oh my god, no! Oh, I can't believe I didn't save it after doing that last fossil. That was so stupid of me. Oh, I got arrogant. Oh! 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 Oh, the, oh that was a bad ship combo. Oh my god. I'm so pissed off at myself right now. I'm so... Oh my god. I, I, I knew there was a save point to the side. I should have gone to it. The mantra throughout all 14 episodes, throughout these, these several hours of playing, you know, not even several, probably like so many hours of playing this game. I keep repeating. I made a joke of it. Save often. Save often. I even had the option of safe stating. I didn't do it after the seventh fossil. I'm a freaking idiot. Um, you know what, folks? Uh, uh, we're right at an hour. Um, I'm going to redo the fossil stuff off screen. And just get, get us back to roughly the same point um, on the map. And we'll go back to the ship, and hopefully Scarlet will be there. And, yeah, I am not going to make you guys rewatch me do all that fossil hunting stuff. And all the subsequent battles that were in it, that was, um... Mmm, mmm. Yeah, because I did not say that. That was, like, 30 minutes at least worth of work. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, that was just... Oh, that was cruelty. I, I don't know why. I don't know why that went down the way it did. Um, yeah, we're, we're just... I'm going to get back to that point off camera. Um, so we'll pick up at roughly that place on the map. Um, I will definitely save it before I re-enter the ship. Or, you know... So any storyline stuff with Scarlet we can show off. Um, oh my god, I hate that that happened. I, I hate that for the audience. I hate that for myself. I, I should I should have saved it. 
Uh, I walked right past the safe one. I just had to go one screen over the left. A after I, I knew there was a safe point right there, I was thinking about it in the corner of my mind. I just, I'm an idiot. I went against the mantra of save as many times as you can, especially after something big happens. Um, yeah, that is on me. So I'm going to fix it off panel. And... Yeah, we're, we're at an hour, so this is when things would be happening anyway. I will see you all next week. We're going to pick up right here. Yeah, I'm just going to have to get back to this point off screen. Because I'm not going to make the next episode a, a redo. Um of all that fossil hunting because that there there's just no reason to do that. God, I hate that that happened. <laughs> I really do. Like if I had been playing this on the Game Boy Advance, like on a cartridge years ago when this game first came out, like that little bit of screaming would have been so much more intense. Because, see, I know I can redo it this time, and I can just save state it as much as I want in case something stupid happens again. But if you were playing this on a cartridge and all you had was the built-in save points, um, and I knew I would have to be like constantly running back and forth to that save point to avoid something like this happening again, uh, ugh, ugh, my god, that's just, ugh. But you know what? You know what? That is not the fault of the game. That is the fault of me. Uh, this is a good game. We are not raging it at the game. Which is why we're going to keep playing the game. Because it is a fun game. As I said, the fossil fights were fun. I just really wasn't planning on redoing them again this soon. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, enough ranting and rambling. Yes, uh, come back next week watching this via archive um and next week's already been part in the archive then i'll see you in a couple minutes but yeah no 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 redos of mass sections like this anymore um the the on-camera streaming is going to be more efficient from this way out that's something i was kind of building to earlier Oh my god, I hate that screen. I mean, it's a very nicely rendered planet, but just in general, any game like this, when you know you haven't saved in a little while, that is just a very disappointing screen for the gamer. Emotionally, so. Okay, I got some work to do off stream later in this week. I will see you all in seven days. And we will have fun, I promise. Bye-bye.